Hey there everyone, Paradise Gamer 13 here, and I'm continuing my uh, Let's Play Paper Mario series. So, I left off, um, I had just saved outside the fortress there, or kind of more or less about the midway point, uh, maybe a little bit, uh, a little bit before the midway point. But basically what we're going to want to do is, um, when we first came in this room we saw the uh, a little cutscene showing, I think it was Yellow Koopa, uh, laying a trap up here underneath this block and actually um, believe it or not um, we are going to want to hit this and uh, let ourselves get caught in the trap so we'll hit that and we'll actually fall down into um, the giant like cell room area that uh, we I think we'd gone through that a bit earlier um, bah -ha -ha -ha. loser serves you right you fell for it oh what a excellent pun there <laughs> But yeah, as you can see, this is the the, the cell room with the bob bombs that um, we had passed through earlier. Oh, what was that? Where did that fall from? Oh, I wonder what just fell. But aren't you Mario? I never in a million years thought I'd meet such a famous guy in a place like this. Who? Me? My name's Bombette. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm a bob bomb. Pleased to meet you. Alright, uh, as you can see, there is a, I guess I don't really need to heal, but I still have most of my health and stuff, but I might as well, there's a, you know, that heart box right there that you can, uh, heal yourself with. Um, if you kind of, like, look around a bit, you'll notice this cracked wall here, and I mentioned, I think, earlier with a couple other cracked walls, obviously, you will need her to, uh, blow it up, so I believe if you talk to her again, she'll, uh, ask to join you, if I'm not mistaken. What's that? Why am I locked up here? Because I'm a menace. At least to these guys, these uncouth Koopa brothers. I was just one of the many bomb bombs working here. But those Koopa brothers, once Bowser took over, they started working us into the ground. I couldn't take it anymore, so I exploded next to them. Yeah, that was a mistake. The Koopa brothers didn't like it, so they locked me in here. And then they locked up the rest of the bomb bombs because they thought they might rise up. You know, a bomb bomb rebellion? What do you think about that? Well, obviously they didn't lock up all the bob bombs because there's still several running around the fortress. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's a long story, I know. Anyway, Mario, we wanted to get out of here. Do you think you could help spring us from this place or what? Pretty please? If you help us, I promise I'll return the favor. Alright. Yes. Oh, oh. Hi, oh nice. Uh, we'll be good friends from now on. I can feel it. We'll make a super team, Mario. Alright, so now we have three partners. Um, in case you uh, weren't aware, <laughs> um, since she's a bob bomb, she can blow stuff up, <laughs> which is kind of convenient, especially in this fortress, which has a lot of weak, cracked walls, it seems like. Uh, now, let's think of a way to get out of here. Oh, gee, I almost forgot. I haven't even told you about what I can do. Silly me. My specialty is exploding, well, obviously. Uh, check this out. See, if there are any cracks in a wall, I can probably break it. Let me try this one. Puff, 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 tick cover. Okay, so obviously, as if the cracked wall wasn't obvious enough, it pretty much tells you, blow up this wall. So you just hit the down C button, and it'll perfectly you're perfectly lined up with it, so you should blow it up easily. See that? You see what I bring to the party, Mario? Oh, an escape route. <laughs> well, I... I guess I never thought about doing that before. I was so mad I just blew up over and over in one place. Tee hee. Okay, that was a little silly. Well, anyway, we can get out now, right? And so can everyone else. Thank you, Mario. From now on, I'll tag along and help out whenever, wherever I can. You just ask and I'll be there for you. Now, enough chit-chat. I have a little score to settle with those Cooper brothers. Alright. Uh, I believe... Oh, nope, not in this... Uh. Not in this room. I thought there was a cracked wall in that, in that room, but I guess there's not. Oh! Oh, crud. I forgot. I always forget when I'm doing this part, but um, I usually try to switch partners uh, like immediately after doing that because um, Bombad is good, but obviously she's not very not very good against uh, Koopas per se. Um, well, you, you'll see why. Well, as long as you flip over the Koopa, I guess it doesn't matter that much. Yeah, it's not really that big of a deal. You can leave Bombad out. I'm just... I don't know, for whatever reason, I tend to use her. Um, as you can see here, uh, okay, that was weird. <laughs> that obviously, um, 
I messed up on that. Um, I'm pretty sure I pressed A. I mean, <laughs> I don't know why I wasn't doing that. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to switch. I'm going to try that again. Okay, obviously that didn't work. Um, I'll just see exactly what's wrong with that. Uh, I've been having a lot of problems with this uh, particular... I don't, I don't know if it's the, the emulator or the ROM or uh, what exactly it is. Oh, actually, no, I do not want to attack with Mario. I want to attack with Bombette first. I'm going to try this again. Oh, there we go. Okay, I, I just, for whatever reason, doesn't seem to show up on my thing. Um, it's kind of weird. Oh, well. Um, I don't generally use Bombette that much in a battle. Um... Except for this particular, uh, uh, this particular level. <laughs> I was kind of losing my train of thought there. Um, this battle isn't too difficult, though, obviously. Even, regardless of who your partner is. Like I said, for whatever reason, sometimes I generally tend to, uh, switch to, like, Cooper or someone that can take out the bot bombs that we don't have to switch every time. But, just make sure you don't attack the, uh, the bot bombs with, uh, with Bombet, or else, uh, like when when they're uh, angry and ready to explode. Ooh, wrong way. We've already gotten the key in there, so we don't really need to go there again. This, for the most part, this uh, this level is pretty straightforward. You, you know, you don't have to do a whole lot of backtracking. You do a little bit. Um, yeah, we want to go. <laughs> we want to go back. Yeah, this is the right area. Okay, I just had to think about it for a second. Um, so you're going to blow up this wall, obviously, because there's a key in here. Uh, that is one key, I'm trying to think. I'm not harms it sure if we can get the other one just yet. I don't think we can, actually. I'm just going to blow up this wall just for the heck of it. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, um, I should have shown you there since I just blew up that meaningless wall. But, um, because we already got the badge behind there, yeah, you can't get up there just yet. But, um, if you press the down C button, obviously, she'll start walking. But then if you hit again, she'll explode early, which is, uh, kind of convenient, you know, if, uh, you know, you, um, you know, like, like, let's say you're trying to blow up that wall and you're standing, like, over here or something. Well, you obviously don't want to walk too far, so if you do that, then, you know, she, she can blow up early and you won't miss it or whatever. Which is kind of a nice, uh, nice little, uh, feature that they, uh, added to that. Uh, let's see here. This, I believe, is the room. Yeah, this is where the cracked wall is. Yep, so we should be getting our badge. I actually don't remember exactly what it is. Uh, it's been a while since I've played it, so I'll have to see. Pretty, I think it might be like Flower Saver or something, I feel like. Or FP Plus, maybe. Refund. Okay, I don't know where I was getting the, uh, FP Plus badge or anything like that from. Refund? Eh. I guess you get some coins if you use an item in battle. Eh, it's okay. I'm, I'm just gonna stick with, uh, Power Jump and Power Bounce, I think, are the two I have right now. So I'm just gonna stick with those two. Um... Just a matter of preference, really, though. You know, you can feel free to, especially if you uh, upgraded your BP any of those uh, times that you've, if you've leveled, you know, the, I think I've leveled up twice so far. So I'm guessing that you've more or less probably done about the same. Uh, oh, wrong one. Here we go. I'm actually going to switch to Gumbario, because I think there's a paratrooper over here. Yep. Oh. Oh, I got hit. That's not cool. Um, oh, but there's some bomb bombs there as well. That's... That's not cool. I guess it wouldn't have really mattered had I used uh, who I used. Uh, I thought there was like more than one paratrooper in this particular fight, but I guess not. Um, there's not, like I said, there's not a whole lot to say about these enemies really. They're uh, they're fairly simple to fight, and uh, you know most of their attacks. I can't think of any uh, particular enemy that has an attack that does more than one damage off the top. Of my head. I think I think spiked goombas do. Perhaps, but um, they aren't much of a problem as long as you just use your hammer. Um, and speaking of hammer, obviously, like I said, when the ball bombs turn red like that, you want to use your hammer. I've, I've mentioned that before, but I'm just kind of reiterating it because I don't have much else to say about these uh, these enemies. Because it, it's not like um, I'm trying to think. I guess there aren't really that many. Uh, the enemies in this game don't require a whole lot of strategy per se. You know. I mean, I guess these do require a little bit, because um, you want to attack with either the hammer or with Cooper, 
But um, like I said, overall, not not too difficult uh, fighting styles in this game. Um, yeah, we already have a key. I forgot we just picked one up. Okay, wrong button. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why I'd ask you what what item you want to use. Obviously, you want to use the fortress key because that's <laughs> like I'm gonna use a mushroom on there. No, that probably won't work out that well. Um, oh yeah, so for this one though, you notice this switch is red, so instead of just disappearing if you hit it, it'll actually still stay there, and you can hit it as uh, many times as you want, which, um, is useful for solving this little puzzle-ish thing, I guess. This is really the only, I guess, puzzle, if you want to call it that, um, of this particular level. As you can see, um, you just hit it from over there. As you can, the, um, you can see where the blocks pop out at, you know, there's one, there's some, um, that you can walk across, and then there's these, which um, pop out, and you know you can't go past them. So like, you wouldn't be able to hit the switch and then go over here. You'd have to hit this switch um, in order to progress, because that wall would block your path. I'll show you here in a second. See, obviously, you can't go back that way. You can only, you can only go forward from here. Um, it's pretty common sense, though. I mean, it's not like it's trick or anything to figure out. You pretty much just walk across here, hitting the switches um, as needed. Um, let's see here. Oh, there's another Koopa. See, again, I'm going to switch partners again, just because I don't know how many Koopas there are. But, really, it doesn't, it shouldn't matter too much who you have out or anything like that. Oh, no, there's, there's two Koopas. So, see, in this particular instance, um, in case you want to be like me and flip over the other Koopa, uh, that way you don't have to worry about him potentially attacking you or whatever, uh, then it's good to have Goombardo out. However, like I said, in the end, it doesn't really matter, because you shouldn't, it, as long as you're halfway decent at using the action command, you know. I can understand, I guess, if you're, uh, if you're not very good at using it or whatever just yet, you know. Uh, I am, though, and that's mainly why I do this kind of stuff, because I've played this game so many times. Um, but, um, it's almost second nature just to use the action command, really. Although, sometimes I still miss it, <laughs> unfortunately. I'm not, I'm not perfect, I suppose. Um... But yeah, and then, you know, when you get to the bob bombs, if you have Goombario out, you obviously just want to do the same strategy of switching um, to use Goombario first and then having Mario attack second with his hammer so he can blow them up. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think. I guess we got 56 star points, so I'm not 100% certain if we'll uh, get another level, go, uh, the level up again or not before fighting the Cooper Brothers, but we definitely will... Uh, after fighting them, because we should get quite, at least 20 or so star points, I think, 20 or 30 maybe. I'm not 100% certain of the actual uh, number, but it's somewhere around there. Uh, obviously, I guess we need a key to progress over there. I'm guessing it's down here, so if we hit that switch, the staircase will lower, kind of like the other one. Like I said, um, you know, the if you want to call them puzzles, <laughs> they're pretty simplistic to be puzzles. Like I said, I think in another video, that's the thing I like about this game, is that, you know, it's very... Um, it's not too difficult, you know, it's very introductory level, um, for the most part, you know. It does a pretty good job of, uh, you know, starting off pretty easy. Like I said, the whole game is, is pretty easy. The, the puzzles in any of the levels, even some later ones, aren't that difficult to figure out, really. Um, but, nonetheless, you know, it's, it's still a fun game, I think, at least. Um, there's at least one more staircase that we need to lower, and I think it might actually be in this next room. I'm not 100% certain on that, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it actually is. I believe there's another Koopa somewhere. Eh, I don't want to switch to Cooper. You can borrow you. Because I think there is... No, maybe not. But, oh, I know. There, there aren't any up here. But they're down in that pool, I believe. I think there's two of them. And actually, you don't have to... They're pretty easy to avoid because they're, like, freaking out when the staircase raises. Because um, they don't expect it to... <laughs> to come up underneath them like that, I guess, really. Um, so you can usually avoid them, because they're, like, running around like that. And, actually, I might just do that, uh, just for the sake of avoiding them. Yeah, actually, I probably will. Yeah. And even if, uh, they start attacking like that, they're still pretty easy to avoid, because you can just jump over their shells. Although, you know, sometimes if you try jumping over them, you could still get hit, or, um... Or you might end up just getting a first strike on accident. Uh, I believe that is the door we want to actually go through. However, there's another badge up here. I think it's a 
called power. Oh, it's the the charge. Huh. Obviously, there's a bob on there, so I'm gonna switch to Cooper to make things easier. And like I said, when you're fighting a bob bomb, I would actually recommend not getting the first strike, um, which is why I'm not going to here. Oh, there's only two of them, I guess. So it's not like it really would have mattered all that much. But obviously, if you get the first strike um, on a bob bomb, then it'll kind of throw off your uh, your pattern, I guess, of how you attack them. But obviously, it doesn't really matter that much when there's only two of them. I thought there was at least like three or four, but I guess not. Um, that the charge, the hammer charge badge that uh, is right there, it's fairly useful. But again, um, well, take that back. I think I I have used it before in this first level, uh, mainly for the bullet bill blasters and um, yeah, <laughs> that's really the only thing I would use it for. Uh, and even then, we got like Thunderbolt that we can use on them and stuff. So, I uh, and Bombette's bomb attack. Oh, here, we, wow, we're uh, we're already here. That's uh, that was pretty fast actually. Um, so it looks like we'll be getting the uh, we'll be getting um, done with this level by uh, the end of this uh, before the end of this video, which is kind of nice. Uh, so as you can see here, there is. Um, these cannons over here that will be shooting bullet bills at you. Well, not yet, but uh, you'll see uh, fairly soon here. <laughs> Don't get smug, pal. Just You just caught us off guard. Trust me, we'll mop the floor with you if, we're, if we get serious. We're as cool as they come. Alright. Thankfully, even though there's four Koopas, there's only um, three cannons, which is kind of nice. So if you hurry up and like run over here, you can... Uh, get here well before the bullet bills start coming and get down here and grab I, I forget it's actually kind of oh no I think it's like a honey syrup or something but you can blow up that rock and get oh no it's a maple syrup oh that's nice uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of another mushroom I just have so many of those for some reason um as you can see they uh come there thankfully though if, for, if you're like alone I think they're I think there's a heart block and a, I know for sure there's a save block, and I think there might be a heart block up there too. I'm not 100% sure, certain on the heart block, but um, I do know for a fact about the A. Oh! Oh! That's the only thing is like, um, when you're trying to avoid these guys, uh, you can you might occasionally get hit. They're not too difficult to avoid, really, I don't think, but hold down and release. Um, no, I completely messed that one up. Um, Bob bombs, or yeah, not these, these aren't bob bombs. <laughs> Bullet bills um, are pretty easy to avoid for the most part. You can also jump over them, which I don't know why I just didn't do that to begin with. <laughs> um, but they only take, they only have two HP, I think, and they'll attack you. But they'll, uh, as you saw, they only do two uh, two things of damage. So if you use your uh, action command, uh, and time it right, then you shouldn't have a problem. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. I messed up there. I'm trying to time it just right. Oh, crud. I didn't want it to shoot. I was trying to uh, time it so it's in between um, bullet bills. So that way, um, you can actually, I know, as you have uh, seen by now, um, you can actually uh, get the first strike on, uh, you know, enemies with Mario. But you can actually get a first strike on them also with your partner, which is kind of nice. And, um... Uh, well, let me try this again. Bombette particularly does a pretty good job of it. Um, let's see here. Yep, see? I made the first strike. It does four. I think that actually, yeah, that's enough to take it out, which is really nice. Um, I'm going to switch to Bombette first, because I think I'm trying to figure out... Okay, this is press A repeat. See, that's what I did on the last one. But that, the, her other attack is uh, hold down A. But yeah, this one you press A repeatedly. Okay, I got three. I don't know why, I'm just not doing very well with uh, Bombat for some reason. This might not actually do anything. I'm, I'll have to see. Uh, nope, I did one. I, I, thought the, uh, I thought it actually had a defense of, um, of uh, two. Like enough to block out your hammer. But I guess not. You definitely don't want to jump on it, though, because your jump attack won't do anything. Um, yeah, let me get that one. Nope. Not quite. Close enough, though. We're still going to beat it here in this turn. 
so these these bullet blasters are by no means. Uh, I guess we're not going to get a level yet. Um, we're going to have to wait till after the uh, after the boss fight, I guess. Uh, wow, we have 141 coins now. That's that's not too bad, you know. We, we might be able to buy a a badge or so from the badge shop if they have any good ones when we get back from this level. Let's see, though. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend saving and healing up, though, uh, before before this fight. Also, um, Bombette is not a bad choice. Her bomb attack is pretty effective against them. But I use Goombario just because they're all Koopas, obviously, so um, it's easier to flip them over when... Uh, well, it's kind of hard to explain. They're, they're, it's actually a lot different than fighting just a regular Koopa, for the most part. Um, which makes it kind of nice. Um... Oh, actually, I forgot. You don't fight them right away, too. You, uh... <laughs> well, you'll see here in a second. Uh, hey, Black, what are you doing? Hurry, man. Shake a leg. Ow, my shell. Get off. Wait. Wait a minute. Whoa. Oh, for the love of... What are you doing, Yellow? That doesn't look cool at all. Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm ready, Red. Finally. Let's do this. Remember to look cool, guys. Yeah. Actually, I forgot... <laughs> Forgot you might actually want to have Bombat out for this particular fight. Um, then again, though, uh, obviously, in case you um, aren't aware, that's that's not actually Bowser. <laughs> um, he's actually extremely weak. His attacks only do uh, one thing of damage, which is um, pretty nice. Uh, and I think he only has. I'm gonna switch actually. Because Gumbario is not effective at all against him. I should have just left out Bombet. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, but I'm invincible. Nope, that's uh, that's not true. Although I guess you actually don't really damage any of the Cooper brothers. Um, so in a way, it does protect them. Um, let's see if I can get this one. Do yep, hundred percent. That's nice. Oh no! Wow, three hits. Right? Yeah, three hits. <laughs> That was pretty easy. Um, I guess it, yeah, I guess it had 10 HP then. Um, pretty easy fight though. But then again though, then you got to uh, fight these guys now. I was kind of like, I remember the first time I played this game, I was like, whoa, the first boss are, has uh, two two stages already. That's pretty impressive. But they're really not that difficult to be honest. Um, except for the fact that they 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 get to attack first, which is kind of annoying. Oh. They do f well. Their their attack does the same number as the Koopas that are alive, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, let's see. I'm gonna use a pow block on them because it should knock them all over, which is really nice. Um, oh wait, no, it just tips them. Dang it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna body slam them though, even though I evidently don't know how to do that uh, particular attack. <laughs> um. Let's see here. I wish I had the multi-bounce badge, and then I could just jump on all of them. Uh, actually, though, you know what, though? I have... This is where my fire flower would come in handy. I'm going to go ahead and use that. Hit them all um, at once. <laughs> um, and I think... Let's see here. I'll switch to Cooper, and I should be able to wipe them out here um, shortly. Well, if I can get them all knocked over again. Uh, I believe I have another... No, oh, no, I guess actually I don't. Dang it. I was really hoping I'd have another, uh, POW block, but I guess I don't. That's too bad. I should be able to at least take out Green Ninja Koopa. Huh. I didn't realize that's what their, uh... I forgot that's what their actual title was called. Interesting, though. Obviously, I'm guessing kind of a ripoff of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> um, evident... I mean, it seems pretty obvious, I suppose, but, um, I didn't realize that they're actually called Ninja Koopas. <laughs> Wait! Oh, they just completely, uh, they just, com they, I thought they'd, uh, start, uh, waving back and forth. Huh. I'm trying to remember well, that, yeah, I guess you gotta hit them with your hammer or something, I, for I forgot. Didn't think about that. Um... There we go. I finally got the action command right on that time. Um, you're kind of an interesting first boss, though, like I said. Um, 
Really, I like all the bosses in this game, to be honest. They, uh, I think they did a really good job of the uh, uh, boss design in this particular game. Uh, the next boss is pretty cool, too. They're all um, bosses compared to the actual levels. Uh, the bosses in this game, they, um, they're they definitely, they're not necessarily ch that challenging, per se, but they definitely have, um, they're more challenging than, like, the enemies in the rest of this fortress and stuff like that. Um, let's see here. Which one should I choose? See, now I'm kind of leaning towards BP. Um, at the same time, you know, FP and HP. Um, I'm actually... Hmm. I'm going to go with HP again. Like I said, I think I said this um, some other time. I've always been more of an HP guy than any of the other stats. Next time, though, I think I might go with BP. Um, just this uh, one more time, I'm going to upgrade my HP again. Uh, <laughs> I like how the inside of the shell had a picture of Princess Peach, or rather a poorly drawn one. Uh, <laughs> but nonetheless, though, we um, I just beat the first boss here, and now I'm going to get the first Star Spirit, which is um, pretty nice. And actually, after we get this first Star Spirit, we're going to get, um, I think it's actually, I don't think it, we're going to get it right here immediately. I think we're going to actually get it after the um, after Peach's little mini level. Um but we'll get a star power soon. And Eld Stars isn't that great, honestly, but some of them, some of them, the ones that you get later on are really um, pretty useful, <laughs> which is kind of nice. Um, and so Mario and friends beat the Koopa Brothers at their fortress and rescued the first star spirit. Still six star spirits remain imprisoned, and they must save them as quickly as, po as they can. The future of the Mushroom Kingdom, Star Haven, and of course, Princess Peach lies in the hands of Mario and his new friends. Their adventure has just begun. Alrighty, I think this is where I'm going to cut off this um, part of my walkthrough. Uh, this is pretty, a pretty good place, I think, to cut it off at, because uh, we're going to be playing as Peach again here in the next part. So that is it for this um, video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was helpful, and thanks again for watching.